Uh, are you planning to venture into a career in law perhaps, but don't really know what kind of work you will be doing after obtaining your LLB degree? Well, experts say a Bachelor of Law offering many career options to graduates other than the traditional attorney or advocate jobs. An LLB degree is an undergraduate qualification in law that equips students with a sound knowledge of the South African legal system. And to talk about the potential career streams and some of the requirements for an LLB degree, I'm joined now by advocate Jacques Nivot, head of the LLB department at Stadio School of Law. Good morning to you, Advocate. Thank you very much for joining us here on the South African Morning. I think first and foremost, tell us a little bit about the Stadio School of Law and what it offers. Uh, thank you, Abigail, and thank you uh, for our viewers for also joining us. Yes, uh, Stadio uh, Higher Education is one of our uh, leading private higher education uh, institutions. And just to set our viewers' minds at ease, uh, our higher education um, institution is registered with the Council of Higher Education and uh, with the Department of Higher Education and Training. Our qualifications and programs are also registered with um, the National Quality uh, Qualification Framework, South African Quality uh, Association. So all your um, requirements for having a recognized and certified degree is in order. So, yeah, uh, first of all, um, you will be able with such a law degree, a LLB degree, uh, to go and into the marketplace and also uh, be a well-rounded uh, student. Uh, Abigail, before I uh, go into the, the specifics of the uh, kind of uh, disciplines that we cover in a LLB degree, I just want to take a step back and uh, because the LLB degree is a, a sort of a certification paper that you get, but what, what does that mean? What does, this, does that mean for you as a person? Mm. Um, in uh, uh, training you, we ensure that you are a well-rounded student, a well-rounded law student ready for the world of work. And that means that we not only uh, want to issue you with a certificate, but we want to ensure that you have the correct tools to go into the marketplace in the world of work and be able to stand your ground. So some of those tools that uh, and capacities that we uh, provide you with is obviously a sound knowledge of uh, the legal system, but you can also understand that we cannot uh, equip you with all the laws. Just to cite an example, in, a municip in the municipal environment, there's more than 600 laws impacting on municipal on a municipality and a local government so yeah. uh, we need to equip you with the, uh, the tools to understand uh, the law the law environment and also to uh, equip you how to read a scenario or a fact or a problem that's on your table you need to identify the problems dissect the problems um, then think analytically and critically um, evaluate the situation and then at the end of the day come up with a conclusion. So it's a whole uh, process of equipping our uh, students, arming them with the background knowledge and arming them also with the ability to uh, dissect problems, uh, critically think about it and come up with solutions, mm. advocate. Let's so just take it a further. Uh, let's just take it a further yeah. step back and and maybe speak to uh, young people who are possibly still in high school who are thinking of what their future holds and what possible paths they could take after school. I remember um, a point in high school where selecting your subjects was such a daunting task because often uh, in high school we aren't sure of what path we would like to take uh, and study further. Are there specific requirements when wanting to pursue an LLB uh, degree? Yes, uh, obviously in your, uh, to go to university, you need to have your uh, matric certificate with a um, the possibility to go further with uh, your studies. That is a uh, uh, matric exemption that you can go straight to a law degree that will enable you to uh, enroll for a BA law degree. BCom law degree, 
currently at Stadio, our uh, LLB is still a, a postgraduate um, degree, but we are envisaging also to come up with a uh, normal uh, four-year LLB degree, and that will be implemented as from 2024. Um, but in our uh, BA law and also your BCom law, we provide you with enough subjects that at the end of the day, you will be able to have exemption for some of the law degrees mm -hmm. uh, required for LLB so that you can complete it in a, uh, the shortest possible time. But I want to tell you, Abigail, that uh, even students that do not uh, receive that uh, university exemption on the um, uh, matric certificate, they don't have to despair. Um, at Stadio, we want to widen access to all our uh, potential students to be able to study at the university. So we also have a higher certificate in paralegal studies. So if you only have your uh, matric certificate without that exemption for university, um, you may enroll for the uh, paralegal studies in uh, our legal stream and that will also provide you with a springboard to go into uh, formal uh, oh. degree. So there are there are options. There are options. Advocate, I just want to to ask. Um, you know, you you mentioned the skills that uh, prospective students will be equipped with if they do take this route. But uh, how would someone know if this is uh, the right path for them to take? Uh, what's what sort of person? Uh, what sort of interests should someone show? Uh, in order for them to be successful uh, on this journey? Hey, the, the interest, obviously, uh, most of our students uh, do watch television and they uh, see all these uh, programs where people are in, in the courtroom situation. So obviously, they, the interests are uh, awakened for the law, but it is not only uh, somebody that's got an interest in pure law. Um, you know, our whole uh, society is set up with uh, frameworks and uh, policies and legislation and rules. So everybody that's got an analytical uh, brain for rules, regulations, structures and uh, compliance would uh, most probably be uh, suitable for a law degree. because. Conventionally, we think of only people that uh, becomes attorneys and uh, advocates hmm. uh, with a law degree, but that is not limited to those specific degrees. We also have uh, in companies where you have your in-house uh, legal people that uh, deal with um, acquisitions and uh, compliance issues. Uh, we've got even in your uh, journal journalistic um, streams, there's an editing, there is uh, scope for legal people because even in your uh, situation, you need to ensure that the news and the articles that you uh, send out into the public domain, that that will not uh, land your institution in hot water.